Hello guys, it's Thomas Films. Boy, it's been a long time, but I wanted to make another video, because this has kind of become a tradition at this point. What I got for Christmas this year, so what I got for Christmas uh, 2023. <clears throat> and, but, so, instead of just rambling on why I haven't been, been uploading for a while, which is because I don't have any motivation anymore, but also, I just want to get this video out, because it's becoming, like I said, a tradition at this point. I like to make these kinds of videos. So, and I'll obviously talk about some things, mainly those. I'm not going to show you what those are, even though I'm pretty sure you probably saw one or two of them. And, so, here we go. So, uh, I got this cool, or I got this Giants helmet, a New York Giants helmet. Yeah, I'm a Giants fan. It's been tough for me this year. <laughs> If you know, you know, um, and it's signed by, I can't, rem I don't remember for some reason, I can't rem name the uh, player on the top of my head, but I thought it was pretty cool. I got this from uh, one of my cousins, and yeah, pretty sick, I'd say. And so here's a, uh, <clears throat> I don't know exactly what this is supposed to be, but I think it's, it looks like some sort of jacket, like Giants jacket. That's what it feels like. Or almost like a sweater in a way. It, I haven't worn it, but it feels very comfortable. So I'll have to give it a... Or I'll have to put it on one of these days. So yeah. And here's a... In, I'm a... Like, if you... I'm a Yankees fan. I think you guys probably know that. But if you don't, then... Hi, I'm a Yankees fan. Um, and this is a cool, like, camo. Or it's like a black... I don't know what this kind of color is called if it's not camo, but I'm pretty sure it's like a black camo Yankee hoodie. I thought this looked pretty cool. And, yeah, I can't wait to actually wear this. I haven't wore this yet. I'm re maybe I should wear this tomorrow or in a few days because I think it looks pretty cool. Okay, now I got a Nike hoodie. This one's actually pretty... This one, it's nothing really crazy, but I like the logo it makes on it. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm kind of like stuttering my words. I have not uploaded, obviously, in so long. So I'm not used to making these kinds of videos, but yeah. I like the hoodie. It feels, once again, very comfortable. Yeah. And then there's here's another Giants hoodie. This one I actually think is pretty cool because it's instead of it being like red and blue and white this time it's neon green and uh black <laughs> it just i think it looks kind of cool honestly because it's something different so yeah and that's it for the hoodies and all that although although i guess you could kind of consider this something clothing related uh, so here's um so if you guys are probably confused this is a running vest <laughs> Because I haven't said this online, or except for my Twitter. If you guys want to follow me, I'll say it at the end. Um, or I'll mention the account at the end. Um, I've gotten really into running this last year and a half. Um, I know it sounds very weird to say that, but I've actually been running many, like, 5K races. And I've started to get actually really good. My most recent, like, race, I finished in, like, 23 minutes. And for my cross country team, I finished like my one of my best time was like twenty two fifty. This isn't this is really just a hold. It kind of be like a bit reflective, a bit kind of like in the dark. And I could like place a water bottle in here, and I could place my phone in here because I do run with it. Not I usually hold it, but this will be a good thing to use at some point. And I tried it out the other day. It's actually pretty nice to wear. So yeah. So that's done with all the uh, clothing stuff. And now we're going to get on to the thing that you guys are probably going to think is crazy. <sighs> yeah, I've I've also really got into reading. <laughs> so we'll just start off with this. Um, I have five, five different Stephen King books. So this one, The Green Mile, I got at a bookstore, but all these four I got for Christmas from my family. I got um, Salem's Lot, 
which is a book I actually found at a bookstore one day, and I was like, eh, I'll put this on my Christmas list, and I ended up getting it. I'm actually really excited to read this one. I think I might actually read this first. Um, then I got The uh, Shining, which I haven't seen, uh, if it hasn't been obvious, I haven't read this, but I actually have seen the movie. Really good movie. Really good movie. I I'm curious to see how the book compares, because... King, Stephen King, doesn't actually like the, uh, doesn't like it, um, the movie at, at all. I, or at least he doesn't think it's a good adaptation. Then we got Cujo, which, which this one is the one I actually wanted the most before I saw this one, Salem's Lot. And mainly because, mainly because, I, I don't know, this just sounds like a pretty unique book in a way. Or just, I don't know. I don't really have a reason why I wanted this one. I guess it's just because it sounded more realistic than some of Stephen King's other stuff. Though I did read Misery. That one was pretty good. And that was one of his more realistic ones, if you kind of say. Then we got The uh, Mist, which you probably know from the movie. Uh, I've seen the movie. I'm not going to talk about that ending, though. <laughs> a really good movie, though. So... So I'm actually really excited to give this book a read. I'm actually curious to see how many differences there are with this, though. I think the movie and book are pretty much near identical, other than that ending. You, you, if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to say much past that. But yeah, I'm really excited to look to read this one. I don't know when I'm going to read this, but considering it's short, I think I'm going to try and read it like when I have a lot of free time to. But yeah, and then we got the Green Mile, which, like I said, I had on my Christmas list, but I didn't actually end up getting this. But that was kind of my fault in a way. But yeah, um, outside of Salem's Lot, this is the the other book I want to start reading soon. I've never seen the movie, and also just to, if you also are just curious, I've never seen the mini series of this, and I've never seen the movie of Kojo. So I'm gonna probably end up reading. These two books first, and along with, and along with this one, and then I'll watch their movies or miniseries adaptations. But the Green Mile, um, I'm actually really excited to read this one because I don't know, it's a it's a change of pace. I mean, I I know it has like some supernatural elements in it, but this isn't. I don't I don't think this one's a uh, what's it called a horror book like most of King's other stuff. So yeah. I'm pretty excited to read this one. Then we get on to the last two, and we got a pretty controversial book, uh, Catcher in the Rye, or The Catcher in the Rye. I don't actually know too much about this book, other than that it's one of the most um, banned books ever. And I thought this, and I was like, eh, maybe I'll give this a read at some point, and I got it for Christmas, so I'll try and probably read this, kind of like these, I'll just try and read this at some point, because... I don't know, I'm curious to see what, why this got banned, because I've read a couple of books that actually have been banned before. And speaking of banned books, okay, this is not the actual 1984 book, but this is a retelling of, uh, if you've read the book, of the character uh, Julia, who, who was one of the, I don't know if I would call her a main character, but she was one of the side characters, like in the middle half of the story, like part two. And I I really enjoyed the original 1984 book, so I'm actually curious to see how this book, or how this retell, in, uh, what's it called, compares, because I don't know much about this, but I'm assuming based on the title, it's going to probably be like the 1984, or from the character Julia's perspective. So yeah, I'm curious to see, like I said, how this does compare. I'm most... I, if, I mean, if I had to take a guess, I'm probably going to end up liking this book, just not as much as 19, or the, as the book, 1984, like the original George Orwell book. But yeah. So, yeah, that's about everything I got for Christmas this year. So, I mean, oh, actually, um, I'm not going to show them on here because I would have to turn on my PlayStation and I don't have any motivation to do that right now. But uh, I got two video games. Sorry about that. I got two video games. If 
my thing didn't cut off. Um, I got Baldur's Gate 3 and uh, Alan Wake 2. Mainly because they won a lot of Game of the Year stuff. But also I just wanted to give them a try because I haven't played video games actually for a few months. I haven't played as many. So I'm pretty excited to give those a try. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. I'm going to start putting all this stuff away. And yeah, I'm really excited to read these books. And like I said, if you're once again curious, even though I said this, I'm most likely going to read this book first. If not, I'm going to read this one, The Green Mile. So yeah, so that's about it for the video. But I'm going to say this, since I don't know if I'm going to really upload much anymore after this. Because I'm just going to say this, guys, just to be straight up. It, this is the end of the video for, like, the Christmas stuff. So if you want to leave, bye. But it, I'm just going to be completely real with you guys. I don't think I'm going to upload much anymore. Just not even, like, I may upload for fun, but that's it. I don't think I'm really going to upload anymore. Because I've been uploading since 2017. I was 10 at the time. I'm now 16. And I'm kind of getting to that point where I just, I'm kind of just trying to do my own thing instead of just doing YouTube now. And I will still do probably upload videos, but if it hasn't been obvious from the last two years, I'm not going to upload much anymore. <clears throat> so here's what I'm going to say. If you guys want to still follow me on my social medias or still want to watch my videos, um, I'm not going to upload on it much, but you could still follow me at Sonic and Mickey Show on TikTok because I still have that account but there's two accounts or two sites I'm going to be active on for now and that is uh, uh, Twitter, I'm not calling it X and Letterbox, which you've probably known f which you probably all know um, Twitter, my account is I'm Thomas Films and if you see like a Spider-Man character then that's who, or like a Spider-Man that looks sad that's me and so if you want to follow me, you can, you can, but I will make this clear. I'm a little more harsh on Twitter. I mean, I'm not completely harsh, but I'm, a, but I'm a little more open about my opinions. So if you're not a huge fan of that, I wouldn't really watch my, re follow me, but it's up to you guys. I'm just saying, and I have Letterbox, which you've all probably heard of once before. I like to now, same thing with reading books. I've started to watch more movies. I mean, I literally watched uh, doing a couple hours ago, and I thought it was pretty good, so, if you want to see me also do reviews, because that's what I wanted to do originally this year, but decided not to, then you could watch, or, or follow my account for more reviews on that, on Letterboxd, because I'm planning to actually start doing more reviews often, since I'm also doing a film class in my high school, so yeah, if you guys want to follow me on there, on both accounts, they're both Tom, I'm Thomas Films. Twitter, you'll you should find a Spider Man profile, and then for Letterbox, you should just find me, just my normal picture. But yeah, that's about it for the video. I thank you guys for watching, and if I don't upload any more, then hope you all live good lives. But other than that, if I do end up uploading again, which I, I probably will, just not as much, obviously. I'll see you guys very soon. See ya.